A U.S. Navy sailor from Buda is in urgent need of a kidney transplant. Last year, five months after the birth of his first son, Max Brown suffered kidney failure. He's on dialysis now, facing a medical discharge. And, as David Scott reports, an uncertain future. Max Brown is on dialysis four hours a day, three times a week, leaving him debilitated for his Navy duties. He's confident a kidney donor will turn up, but he is worried about the future. I worry about things that I'll miss out on, you know, with my son Camden. Um, he's only eight months now, so I feel like soon he'll be, you know, more and more active. Um, there's just different things that I can't do, you know, activity, you know, staying active, you know, to be involved in his uh, life. The Navy turned Max's life around. He wanted to be a 20-year man, but now faces a medical discharge. It looks like I'll be forced to get out a little bit earlier than I or a lot earlier than I intentionally planned. In six years of service, Max patrolled for Somali pirates, participated in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and provided relief to tsunami victims, service he's proud of. It's always great to know that you know, what, what I do in the military has an impact on uh, people's lives, and especially when it's to, to help people that are in need. So we played a pretty big part in supplying you know, drinking water and medical relief to um, the tsunami survivors. Max is one of 90,000 Americans on the waiting list right now for a kidney donor, but the odds are tough. Only 14,000 Americans will receive a transplant this year. Max tells his story and calls for donors on Facebook, a site you can find on our web story. Back here at home, just like Max, his family can only wait it out. Like I told him when he was in Walter Reed there before Christmas. <laughs> well. You know, there's a lot of other soldiers and, that have it a lot worse than he does. My husband has submitted his willingness, I mean, paperwork, and I'm about to do that. Uh, hopefully, one of our kidney is up, you know, be matched. Then that would solve a lot of problems. Brave folks. David Scott, KXAN News.